But you, we had mentioned that you come from a strengths-based perspective. Yes. What does that mean? What does it mean? Basically, this is a great question, which I love very much. Strengths-based to me, and I think that this can look different, coming from a strengths-based perspective acknowledges the ways that people coming to seek care are already taking care of themselves and just honoring all of the various strengths that each client holds. And so for me, what that really shows up as is really naming and honoring the resources that people have developed within themselves to cope and get through hard times. With a strengths-based perspective comes taking out shame and blame from behaviors that clients are exhibiting. What that means for me is no coping is bad coping. I like to look at it in terms of like helpful versus unhelpful as opposed to healthy versus unhealthy. So I like the distinction of language by the way when, when you said that I really do like it. Thank you. So for instance smoking cigarettes can be a coping mechanism for people and that might not be a health giving behavior but if that is helpful for you there's only so much there's only so much that we can do right like yeah. and if you are if, if you've identified something that is helpful for you in a moment of stress or crisis that is a strength because you're locating a resource and you're using it yeah i'm not suggesting that if you don't smoke that you go out and take up smoking i'm just simply stating that like like in a crisis you can't take the one coping mechanism you have Exactly. That's like, where does that leave a person? Exactly. Yeah. And so in addition, it's really just looking at the ways that people meet their own needs. People are so resourceful, even in unconventional ways. And it's honoring, a lot of times for me, what a strength-based perspective means is like honoring those unconventional ways, sometimes holding that with even more weight than conventional, because oftentimes those are the folks that are told that you're wrong for doing this this way, or that you should be doing this this way. And there's no... Shoulds I, are just... Yes. A hundred percent. Shoulds have no place in my practice. <laughs> <laughs> and, and further, when you work with someone to sort of honor something as a, that you see as them using a resource that is helpful for themselves, you can then, as opposed to like shoulding them and being like, well, you sh really shouldn't like have turn to alcohol when you're feeling stressed or whatever the case may be or when you're in crisis instead of doing that if you can say okay what is the benefit that you get from doing that and if you want to change your behavior not that like then again that should be up to the client it is really up to the client but like what's the benefit that you're receiving from this behavior and if you want to change it can you find it in something else can you find a modicum of this in another thing so that's sort of it that's how at least my approach to it it's really just accepting and honoring the ways that people meet their own needs.